It's 8 o'clock, and it's time to check back in with Lee and Clementine in their new home. Adam! Better. Previously on The Walking Dead. I know who you are. I got a good one for you. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You uh -huh. got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. You got it, boss. <laughs> Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Oh, my God. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. Hey, Adam, how are you, man? It is good to see you gonna be an awesome stream this is a great story <laughs> smack him they get this time uh, looks I've like been good Adam <sighs> well that's another meal lost you know one day at a time bro still one day at a time went through all that commissary food in three months it seemed like so much at the time maybe you shouldn't have opened the door who the hell are yeah, you except then I'd probably be food by now trust me I have no regrets yeah, rabbits hardly a meal mark but I'd take it we're all hungry no kidding when I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was going to take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. We'll manage. Maybe. You know, some people aren't too happy about the way Lily's handling rations. But he knows it's important to keep the adults fed and functioning. Sometimes that means someone's got to miss a meal. You think Kenny's having any oh, more luck than are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. He's got a wife and son to look out for. And they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? No, just BS him. Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. It's kind of like when you go golfing, you're actually just drinking. He's just an old racist asshole. That's his <laughs> deal. Well, he needs to get over that and start finding a way to pull his weight. Hard problems are not, we should all be out here trying to find food. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. <sighs> Loud with zombies all over the place, you know? I'm carrying an axe, bro. Don't risk. Gunshot will bring walkers. One bird's not worth it. <sighs> yeah, I know. I'm just really freaking hungry. Amen, sister. Ah! Shit, was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on. Oh, 
Oh, crap. Jesus Christ. Oh, shit. No, no. Please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher. We'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off. Get it off. God damn it. Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp, and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? Yeah, for Who real. Did you care? I, I don't know. Guys with guns. Hey, food. Please, we won't bother you, I swear. Lee, this is fucked up. We've got to help you. Be just like Please. Taco Bell. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just oh. see if you can get him out. After hey. that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. He's so cute. Was he bitten? Bitten? No, I swear. Hurry, please, hurry. Lee, this trap has been altered. There's no release latch. More like hot dogs. No. Shit, walkers. It's now or never, Lee. Please, get me out of this. Cut his foot off. Get the boys back. Cut his foot off. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. Oh, Jesus, those things are going to be here soon. Please, Please do something to me out of this. this is so bad. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Come on, bud. Hurry! Uh, uh, Why is this happening to like us? The Air Force Base to lift orders. You're not cutting through them. There's okay. got to be something we can do. Uh, is stop, he, stop, is stop. he going to make it? Let's go, let's go. No, no, no! It has to be now! Try the trap again! Anything, please! Ah, damn it, Ooh, that'll wake you up in the morning! We don't have time for that! I'm sorry, but we have to go! Now! Ha ha! Ha ha, damn! That'll wake you up Lee, in the morning! I can't keep him back forever! Fuck, I'm just wasting ammo now! We gotta go! You're free. Uh, oh God. Shit. Is he? He passed out. If he's alive, grab him and let's go. Behind you! Travis! Come on, come on, we gotta move! Bye, Travis. Bye, Travis. Jesus, Adam. Jesus. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on! Come oh on! My God. What happened? Oh, what the hell? What's going on? We don't have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken! Lee! I, I don't know! Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here! What are you thinking? 
Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? What no, you mouth? I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. We left the other one behind. Other one? Jesus, Lee. What if there are more of them? What if they followed you here? There wasn't anybody else, just us. How do you know he's not lying? Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. <sighs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. But, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not gonna be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. Kenny's right. Yeah, you're in charge of the food and the schedules, but you're not in charge of people's lives. Really? You weren't there. Lee made a choice. End of story. Look, once Katja patches that guy up, you can kick him out of here. Send him out on their own. I couldn't care less. But they at least deserve Sounds like a your fighting ex -wife. chance against the walkers. <laughs> And for the record, Kenny wanted to leave those people behind. If Kenny would pull his head out of his ass for five seconds, he'd realize that I make these decisions to protect his family. We simply don't have enough food. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? Go make me a sandwich. You know what? If you think I'm doing such a shitty job, then you do it. Okay. Bet. That's all the food we have for today. You decide who gets to eat. The kids. No, I'm serious. Pick up that food and start handing it out. You see how it feels to not have enough food for everyone. Alrighty, well, I am going to feed Clementine for sure. Here, Clem, you need something to eat. Okay, a Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. If you have any more food, Duck is hungry too. Yeah, when are we going to get some food? And the kids. Hey, Duck, how about a little food? Kick her and her daddy out for real. Uh, let me give this little monster a piece of jerky. A piece of jerky. Not even a whole thing of jerky. A piece of jerky. How about Here. a half apple? Oh, heck yes. Is there peanut butter? No. What do you think, Duck? No, probably not. All right. Um... Not you, bud. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. At least the kids have something to keep them occupied. And we're gonna go hook up Will this old man. Will you hold the damn board steady? 
I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Uh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. <laughs> Here, give him some food. Jesus. Here, eat something. A uh, piece of jerky. Thanks, Lee. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Mm. Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work no. over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? Come on, Larry, give it Zombie a rest, man. Tag isn't Things fun for different. the kids. Being a racist is outdated. Oh, and that's what you think this is? Is that what you told him? Yeah. There, that's right. And what are you going to do about it? Look, I don't care what it is, but you two have got to start trying to get along. The only thing I have to do is protect my daughter. And right now, that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work. There's one piece. Someone else? Uh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. Okay. What is this? Crap. It keeps the walkers out. Carly's been doing the bulk of the lookout duty. Okay. Don't want to feed the sick guy. I got a... Here. I don't want anything from you. Fine. Don't eat! Starve! I'll give it to the other chick. Want something to eat? Here. Me? How about you? You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? I'm okay. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. I know I said it didn't matter why you saved me instead of Doug, but... You don't owe me anything, Carly. Give it to the lookout. I tried, but uh, she didn't want it. This kid's new, so he doesn't get food. We'll give it to the old racist man. It's got a heart condition. <sighs> Here, Larry. Lily would want you to keep your strength up. I should shove this up your ass, but I'm too hungry. There you go. Not such an easy job, is it? Shut up. Never said it was. I don't envy you. I don't she know how you have idea. the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Lee. Kenny, I know I ran out of food before. Hey, it was a tough choice. But you took care of the kids. That's what a real man does. Thanks, Kenny. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. Oh, well. Really, Kenny? Ken, Lee! Come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Katja. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried. But he was never going to survive. Uh, I axed his well, leg off. not our problem anymore. <laughs> what about the other kid? Oh. The axe! Hurry! Oh. 
Come on. Move, move. Ah, uh, god damn you. No, no. Get it. Oh. Lee. Come on, Lee. Come on, Lee. Shoot it. Thank you. You okay? Yeah. Thanks. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, oh. asshole? Dad, calm uh, down. You're gonna uh. get us all killed! You said he wasn't bitten! What? We asked you point blank was he bitten, and you said no! He wasn't! Well, your not bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. We're all infected? Everyone? I... I guess so. I don't know, I... All I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, Grim. we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... Couldn't have said that earlier? God. For real. Now you tell us. Back off! Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we, we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off, Carly. We don't want any trouble. Of course, uh, n neither do we. Uh, I'm Andy St. John. This here's my brother Dan. We're just out looking for gasoline. Looks like you folks got the motel locked down, which, which is fine, but uh, if you could spare any gas, well, we'd be much obliged. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. That would be good, but pretty Lee, sketchy. Why don't you and Mark check the place out, see if it's legit. I'm going with you. I wonder if I the price of gas has gone up during fishy. this time. So, oh, uh, what probably. are y'all thinking? Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll go ahead. You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. So, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. I hear you, Lady Mutari. I was wondering that. Kenny keeps us motivated. He believes in hope and knows how important it is for us not to give that up. I can't fault him for that. Or maybe you just don't want to be in charge. Well... Not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Remember? Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine knows. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore. Asked me about it. I couldn't lie to her. What That's exactly right. did happen with the senator? You know what happened. I only know what the press was told. I don't know your story. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't no, matter No, you should anymore. say something. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years, I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I, uh, really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? 
Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? I am. You guys have any questions? You come to me. Yeah, baby. How many people you got over there anyway? Enough to defend ourselves. Well, that's good. It's getting dangerous out there. Well, you guys know. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the Hey, they asked like a lot I of questions, said, we got right? Plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for exactly, as Adam. long as I can remember, but uh, now it's. You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Yes. Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always pulling this shit. Bandits? Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are they? Shh. Fuck you! Fuck you knew we were hungry, and you guys were keeping it there's off yourself! Oh no, there's Yeah, and you know what? More. We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry, Danny and I got you covered if something happens, but let's just wait this out. I hope they move on. Fuck you! <laughs> Jesus! Asshole! The world out here has gone to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Check his pockets for loose change. His gun? Ammo? No? Okay. T Rex was cracking. Must be writing a book. <laughs> Here it is. St. John Family Dairy. <laughs> Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 bolts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. This is a really brilliant setup. Suits us just fine. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farmhands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Hold on, I, I thought you said someone else was running things. Oh yeah, uh, I thought she was asking about survival tactics. Well, it don't matter. You're here now. We'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Does that offer apply to the rest of us? We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Ooh, Amazing. Biscuits, baby. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What's she? We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered. Maybe our whole group could come for the day. Well, how about That's this? a mistake. Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? So take we're gonna give her both food. guns? See you in a while. Really? Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Don't eat. Is there a problem? 
Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal. A broken maybe swing? Maybe other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. All right, I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. But this is the Dahmer family. You know what I mean? Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. <laughs> Soily Kids green used to like real. that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'll bet. Mind if I fix it? Sure, that'd be great. Mama sure does appreciate y'all helping out. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. Yeah. Uh-huh. So what have you found out? Is this looking like a good place to stay? I'll keep looking around. All right, keep me posted. See, I think something else, Adrian. Hmm. Pointy. Pointy. <laughs> it says, ooh, pointy. This is too big right now, but if I can find something to cut it down to size, this might make a good seat for the swing. Hmm. Mind if I use one of these boards? Already making some repairs, huh? I like a guy who takes some initiative. Yeah, go right ahead. Thank you, sir. Put that in my back pocket. good but I need some rope oh poop that's right Glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? We've scraped together a good supply in the last few months. How about yourselves? What kind of protection do you have around here? We collected a few guns to protect ourselves, but we really only use them when we go off the property. When we're inside the perimeter, the fence is all we need to keep us safe. We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, well no. no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. 
An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman. He figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots, and we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. You know? Like us. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it's overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. All right, here we go. It's awesome. Nice property. So how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay, if we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. Why the hell did you have to tell him I thought he was a racist? As if tensions weren't high enough. Sorry, man. It just... it popped out. I mean, you did admit it right to his face. I try to be civil, at least. He's too busy being cranky to notice. There's one. Is he dead? Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Andy said when this fence is working, the walkers go up like a tree branch on a power line. If those lights are out, that means the fence is off, right? It better be. Oh, we're gonna find out. Ooh, hold on. Can I have that? Disgusting. There you go, buddy. Come on. I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. Yeah, hey, you were thinking the same thing, Lady Mazar. Taking anymore. the arrow. Uh, well, it's useless without gas. We might need food, but the St. John's need gas, too. Not many drivers these days, Lee. We could scrounge up a year's worth of gas. Easy. So Daniel. what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. What do you mean by that? I don't know. They seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. That's all. Thanks. There's another one. Okay. I see it. There we go. You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Thanks for the rations earlier. It's not easy eating in front of the kids, but it's all that's keeping me on my feet right now. I'm hungry too, Mark. Do you think they're gonna be good for it? Dinner for a whole group of people? If they've got as much food as they say, I, I think so. Oh! Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> yep, you go over there. Up, uh, it ups a daisy. Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Uh, uh, I told you what was happening. What the? Get to the gate. Get, there you go. Get right there. Jesus. We had 
got an agreement. Now you're fucked. Who the fuck is that? No idea. Fuck. Now what? With a fence on that gate, it's our only way out. Shit. Uh. Get closer. Let's go ahead and take this off. Show yourself. Ow. Okay. Did you really think you fuck with us? Yes. It ain't right. We had a deal. Okay. Can't do anything there. Wait, 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 wait. No. Can't hide forever. Shit, something's still blocking it. What about our arrangements? Yeah, you fuck with us. Now we'll take what we want. Come on, baby. Lee, come on. Get back here. I come see on. Him. We're not your enemy. I can do this. All you right there. Okay. Quick. Anything? Shut up, dude. Damn it. Over there. There it is. Come on. We can reach the gate. We can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah! Shit! Give us the food. Oh no! Really? What happened? Shit! It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. Come on, man. Where do you think you're going? I see him. Don't think I can't see you. Another one? How many of those things did we push down? More than enough. Now there you are, boy. I'll... Oh, Lord. <laughs> Oh. No, no. There you go. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. Come on. The gate's right there. Oh. Hey. hey. Ever. Now there you are, boy. Uh, another one? How many of those things did we push down? Come on out. Can't leave me to There you go. Keep it together, my dude. You okay? Yeah. Barely. Come on. The gate's right there. You Did you really think you fuck with us? What the fuck? I don't know where I'm missing. I don't see the gate. Another one? How many of those things did we push down? Why why are you trying to push it, Lee? Why are you trying to push it, Lee? Come on. Move Captain Howdy. I don't see where I'm going. Come on. There we go. Thank you. Let's get out of here. You lucky sons of bitches. Leave the gate open.
guns came on. Some people started attacking from the woods, and we got trapped between them and the fence. Holy shit, are, are you okay? I heard Mark yelling. Thought y'all were giving me the all clear. Man, I am real sorry. Oh my lord, what happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, mama. Yeah, I'll be alright once it's out, but god damn it hurts. Hey, y'all. Mark, oh my god, what happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ, are you gonna be okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. Thank you, Captain Obvious. I should just... Pull it out. Oh no, honey. Come on. Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What kind of shit is this? We Why ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhand. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. What you do about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. So much for your deal. Those shitheads broke the agreement. Look, I'm sorry, Lee. If I had any inkling they were gonna give you guys trouble, well, we would have gone out there with you. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will <laughs> not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes uh... are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Whoa, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, uh, what the I remember guns? seeing kids in your group, What's so the guns? I went ahead and fixed that swing while you were out. I hope your kids like swings. A swing? I love swings, just like at my treehouse. Come on, Doc. Why don't you kids go and play on the swing, huh? Yeah. Thanks. Anytime. We're looking out for you. All right, let's, uh, let's check everything out. Let's take a look at this generator. Got somebody in the, uh... That thing keeps the fence electrified. Yes, that thing keeps the fence electrified. Looks like a feeding station for the cow. If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in shifts. If oh, you can't open it? If room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in shifts. That's all we're going to do there. Having a crop like that on hand must be great. We're going to need to learn how to maintain it if we end up staying here. I like how you're just... Moving yourself in, Lee. I like how you think, dude. Lee, oh my god, I'm so glad you two didn't get killed out there. Do you think Mark will be okay? Liar. Wish I knew, but I think he's in good hands now. Yeah? It's not too bad? He'll be fine. 
I've seen guys go through worse. How could you all bring us to this place? <sighs> I take it you and Kenny didn't exactly make up on the way here. I tried seeing things from his point of view, having a wife and kid and everything, but gambling with your family's life is pretty stupid if you ask me. Lee, I know you and Kenny are friends, but you recognize that he's not the right person to lead this group, don't you? Kenny believes there's still hope. Maybe that's what we need right now. Well, it ain't hope gonna doesn't be you, do lady. any good if we're all dead. I'm focused on keeping us alive. Yeah, good for you. Hmm. Hey, can't go in there. Got the crab. I don't think there's much left for me to do out here. Pointy. Got in the house. There's my girl. Hey, Clem, do you like the swing? Be sure to tell Andy thank you, okay? I will. Will you push me on it? Sure. Happy to push you on this way. Mind if Clementine takes a turn? All right, Duck. Let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay. How are you holding up, Clementine? I'm okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm just a little worried about Mark. Is Mark going to be okay? You got lucky out there. Could have been a lot worse. Are you going to find the people who hurt Mark? Well, we have to make sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. I want you to stay lucky, too. Ever since I met you, I've had good luck, so don't worry. Okay. What do you think of the dairy? It's pretty. It reminds me of how things used to look before. Yeah, it does. Do you think things will ever get back to how they were? I'm not sure, Clem. I hope so. I hope so, too. All right, Clem. That's enough for now. Okay. Thanks for pushing me. Of course. It's all yours. Yeah! Okay, Duck. Don't pop a gasket. All right. Let's bounce. Fellas, how you feeling, Lee? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. No shit. You saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, it'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about what we're up against. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. Yeah, but I want to see what's out there, Adam. I'm noisy. I'm nosy. Are you going now? Yeah. I'll be back soon, Clementine. Please be lucky. I will. Yeah, they said they said they had a deal with them. Protection for food. See anything? Not yet. Although I do think the brothers are lying. I agree with you. I think there's some straight up soil and green stuff it's going on here, man. I think they're eating people. Here. 
Oh shit, you found it? Well, let's just see what we got. You see anybody? Stay on your guard. Watch my back, Lee. I'm gonna check out the tan. Camp's too small. It can't be their main base. That's what I was thinking. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some shit around here they stole from us. Oh, well, the fire is still going. Just water. But it's boiling, bro. Empty. Nothing. Looks like they expected to be here a while. Tent looks pretty new. Anybody inside? Two sleeping bags. One of them's kid sized. What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? This is too much stuff for just one person. Trust me, these selfish bastards don't stop taking. Probably just to remind us that it's theirs. I... I have not seen any of this or know anything. I am just backseat gaming. The food is people and the inn is the honey, the honey trap. You're probably right. Hmm. Looks like they were moving a lot of stuff. What is this? What was that? Boxes from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. Oh. What do you find? Nothing. A video camera. Let me see that. No. Battery's dead, though. Oh, good. What else they got over here? Oh, Let's good. see if we can find anything useful and then get a move on. I see you handled that gun I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily? I thought you were running things back there. Yeah, but uh, uh, she's got the combat training. Nothing but fuels. Shit. Empty, but it looks like someone's been eating out of these recently. A little bit of trash. Yuck, I don't need that. Okay, what am I missing? What am I missing?
And what do we got here? What the hell? Don't fucking move. Shit! Put your guns down. I ain't going back. You tell him Jolene ain't going back. Jolene, hey, we had Jolene. a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you are. And I know what you do. You don't know me. Steal my shit. Steal everything from me. Why are you alone up here? What happened to you? Well, that's a hell of a question, mister. They told me I'd be safe with them. Men who lived here. But it weren't safe. Not for me. And not for my girl. They didn't treat her nice. Not at all. They took her away into the woods. Would you tell me where? And I begged them every way I could think. They just laughed. <laughs> so I killed them. And I'm staying here till she comes back to me. One way or another. Oh. She'll come back. Now maybe you didn't hear me last time. When I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down. You think I won't kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice sharp arrow right through your eyeball. And into your goddamn brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Shoot her. Take what they want and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Take a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. You shot Mark, you psycho bitch. <laughs> Who the fuck is Mark? I don't know any Mark. You shot him at the dairy. The fuck I did. That's them other people. These good buddies with your boyfriend here. I guess you met them. Ain't they nice? You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this what arrow was that right behind through the tree? your balls. Yeah, right through. String them up on that tree. Then I'm gonna head down to that farm and shoot every goddamn person I see. Enough. Y'all wave them guns like you're looking to die. Don't you? Shit. What the hell did you do that for? We had a deal with them. You heard her? She was too far gone. She was a fucking freak show. But you didn't have to kill her. I mean, I know she was crazy, but damn. Really? Am I miss <sighs> am I missing something? Am I missing something? It's a clean shot, though. Right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. That's right, remember. Still, what a waste. No. So, that's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. So yeah, we head back. Once they see this, they'll get the message. Take that. Was a hell of a ride, huh? What? You were a madman back there. Man, what up? that crazy bitch down. You're back. What happened? Lee took care of it. This isn't what Terry would have wanted. Terry? My husband. Miss him every day. Then screw it up for everybody, then. Why don't you? Oh, calm down, princess. I'll do it myself. <laughs> Her kid was gone, bro. What's going on with them? Oh, well. I don't know. Squabbling, looks like. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? Uh, don't mind them. It's how they are. Each of them wants to be in charge, you know? Well, it's probably just the hunger talking. We all get a little testy. Uh, we'll uh, fix that shortly. Uh, and Lee, don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. I think I'll go have a look around. 
Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. And thank your friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cow. That woman is a lifesaver. Interesting. Okay. And yes, I know she was, she was a mom, but uh, so she says, right? Like, just because she says she is, doesn't mean she is. They're storing gasoline all over the property. You can definitely tell they built this thing themselves. I don't even know if she had a daughter. She looks sick. It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. It's okay. Go ahead. She says Mabel could have her baby tonight. Oh, she's pregnant. We'll see, Clementine. What's this thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. <laughs> Did you lick it? I don't know. That's a yes. Okay, Clem. Here, Clementine. My hat! You found it! I knew you'd find it! You said you would! Listen, did you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the motor inn who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Or the okay, mammals catch I the will. zombie disease Amy, in this world? Maybe. Do you think you'll ever have kids? I'd like to someday. Maybe a little girl like you. That's nice. You'd be a good daddy. Well, Aww. Thanks for finding my hat. You're welcome, Yes, and I'd too. like to... Do you want to pet the cow with me? Nah, but you go on ahead. I'd like to remind everybody that they had Clementine's hat inside that tent. That's a no-no. She looks skinny. How do you like that cow, Clem? She's pretty. Okay. Hey there, Andy. Yeah? We met this woman up in the woods. She seemed to know your brother. Uh, yeah, he, uh, he probably talks a little more than he ought to. How's the cow? Well, better now we got Doc on the case. Yeah, there's nothing good. Um, when do you think, uh, we might eat? Hungry, huh? <laughs> Don't worry. Mama's cooking up some good grub. Thanks. Yep. Let's go look around. Nothing here. Nobody messes with Clementine. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. What have we here? Empty. Okay. 
You found it too, huh? Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? What about Clem? I'll protect her no matter what. I know you will. Look, that guy with Katya, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal in those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor. What'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. Hey, Lee. You know how to pick a lock, right? No. Why would you say that? <laughs> well, you're... You know, urban? Black? Oh, you are not the... saying what I think you're saying. Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> my wife's from Florida, too, so I, I get it. What? See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off that the assembly, shit. have a peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right. Sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Jesus. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. Whatever. Can I help you boys find something? No. Kenny thought he heard a noise. He's a little jumpy, huh? Well, we're all sure glad his wife is here. She's a lifesaver. You, you got no idea. Hey, uh, do me a favor. D don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. So we need a screwdriver, man. Hey, guys, seriously, don't fuck around with that. Come on, enough already. Distract Andy to get him out of the barn. Ooh, I know how we can do it. Hold on, let's go over here. Just look around. What do we have? Looks like a bunch of old dirty clothes. Ooh, smells pretty foul. Why would you have... It's weird. It's a feeding trough. Cans again, yep. Do this one. Just some fence posts. All right, I have an idea. See how ducks doing. Have first. I missed anything? No, not really. Hmm, it smells funny in here. Like manure. What's manure? Duty. <laughs> Kids. Okay. Let's go this way. I'll be right back. So, how does a woman like yourself run this whole place? For real, Larry? Oh, I manage just fine. Plus, I have my boys to help out. I couldn't do it without them. Uh, not much. I'm trying to figure out how to get in this locked secret room in the back of the barn. I think I have an idea. The only thing that would make him go away. Go past this. I see a toolbox over here. I could use a screwdriver. What do you got in here? Oh, 
A Leatherman. I'm just gonna borrow this for a second. I'll take that. Thank you. Got me a Leatherman, baby. Oops. Hmm. I guess I'm gonna need a screwdriver for Oops. this. There you go. And yeah. Let's just pull this belt off. There, that should do it. Put it in my back pocket. And that'll get him out. Fucking Danny, where'd he find this piece of shit? Oh, fucking thing through a belt. Damn it, Tom. Ah, oh, son of a fuck. Perfect, let's go. Let's go see what they got in the back, shall we? Propane. I mean, if they're decent people, I don't want to do anything, but let's be honest. Something I think could help with the lock. Nothing to stop you now. Mom, Dad, dinner time! It's dinner time! Okay, honey, let's get that. Dad! Well, prize winning Dad! Cow. Come on! Let's eat! Kenny, come along, honey. Kenny, come on. Don't make the children wait. I'll make an excuse for you. Get that thing off. Yes, Kenny. Let's go ahead and pull these out. Let's see what's in here. Boy, didn't you hear the bell? Dinner time. Why was there so much blood in there? Look, we have food here, but Danny and I still got to do a lot of hunting to keep everyone fed. When we catch something in the woods, we skin it and dress it back there. Mama doesn't like us to make a mess in the house. So you see, nothing to worry about. Really? Oh, Brenda, Biscuit? you wow. are an angel. Oh, Excuse boy. me, we had to block the back door after Walker got upstairs. Don't worry. That was a while ago, and I ain't been back inside since. Well, he's got Everybody a pistol. Everybody sit down. I'll go get the meal. Why? Oh, this is a delight. I can eat a horse. Where's Mark? Now, don't you worry about him. I've already brought some food up. You just let him rest. Mind if I wash my hands first? Bathroom's right outside in the hall. And be sure to get under your nails. You've been mucking around in the dirt all day. Yes, ma'am. Just gonna go ahead and snoop. Thank you very much. What the... Why is that a thing? Okay, can't do anything there. What's this? Oh, that's to close it. Okay. Gauze pads. The 
looks old. The label's worn off. I could use a shave. Walkers aren't getting through that thing. Let's go upstairs. We got power lines. Damn old houses. Creaky floorboards. Mark is the food. Well, we're about to find out, I think, maybe. Um, I want to follow this court. What the? Musty as hell. I guess someone needed some first aid recently. So much morphine for candles. Smart. Musty as hell. Huh, where is that cord going? All right. Oh, I see this. Look at this. What? Is this Lee. Mark. I knew it. Clem. Clementine! No! Uh, huh? Lee, Jesus, man. Did you find something? Aw, oh, sit your ass down, Lee. This lady has made you a meal. Yeah, Lee, what's gotten into you? He just had a start. He could use some goddamn manners. You're eating human meat. That's crazy. What the That's hell? Ridiculous. Uh, scaring the kids, Lee. Lee, what the hell is wrong now, with now, you? Now, now, Kenny? Now? Don't indulge him, Lily. It's always something with this guy. Yep. Mom, I was eating that. Go upstairs and look. You'll find a guy with both of his legs hacked off. This is a dairy, not a ranch. Think about it. It's true. Everything could have turned out okay for you folks. He would have died anyway. We got to think about living. Settle down, honey. Growing up in rural Georgia, you're taught not to waste. It's how I was raised and how I raised my boys. Now, you got monsters roaming around that do nothing but eat people. And for what? To continue to rot till they eat some more. We think we can put that meat to better use. Oh, I'm gonna puke. Just let us go. Andy is right. We go after folks who were gonna die anyways. One way or another. Mm. Like y'all. What? Lily, grab a knife! Nobody's going anywhere! We got lots of use for y'all right here. So glad what Carly's got both guns. What? Put Fuck. your guns down! We're walking you out of here! Come here, my fucking family! I don't want to die. 
Everyone, everything will be okay. Lee, Lee. Keep it together, Clem. <laughs> oh hell no. You're. Fuck! I'll tear you apart. Yeah, tell me I'm wrong now. Go ahead. Gonna leave a mark. Keep us in here. <coughs> Open up! I will tear you fuckers you apart with my bare hand. We gotta find another way out of here. <coughs> Yo, shit, <coughs> fucking bastards! <coughs> Open this door, god damn it! <coughs> I will knock that we goddamn door it down. Stop. It, it was a person. They tried to make us eat a person. But you didn't do it. No. The rest of us did, goddammit! If you hadn't dragged your feet... Come on, Dad. Now's not the time. You okay, Clementine? They... they didn't hurt you, did they? Mm -mm. Open up! Lee, those psychos have my family, and we're stuck in a damn meat locker! We gotta get the fuck out of here! This goddamn film sucker was the one who brought us here! Will you all just shut the fuck up? I'm scared. I say Don't we be. give him Larry okay. to eat. I'm gonna find us and a way out to go here. home. Yo, worse than the Dad, yeah, we wasted all the food. That's how I do it, you know. Settle down. Oh, I'll rip their goddamn heads off. Right. Make you swallow them. Don't have time for your silly Could there note. Be a hole behind these pallets. No. No such luck. Come on, try us out. Our cowards. Dad. Meat. Uh, I don't want to know what kind. <laughs> There's more of us on the way. Let us out now. Chills are pretty sturdy. Uh, we could climb up. Uh, but there's no way out through the ceiling. Yeah, They're there is. Not gonna open the door. Right there. You, you think a fucking apocalypse <sighs> gives you the right to chop? I'll, I'll break that damn door down. Dad, you can't get. Uh, uh, <laughs> easy. Oh, oh crap. <gasps> no. He's dead. Dad, come on. Dad! Told you. Oh, God, he stopped breathing. I think he's had a heart attack. Shit. Is he dead? Can he's we just not let dead? Somebody help me! Fuck. If he's dead, he's can not he, dead. Can he fuck? Oh, no. What has to happen, Lee? Yep. Think about it. You saw that poor bastard at the motel? How fast he turned? What are you saying? Lily, I'm sorry. I truly, truly am. But in a few minutes, we're gonna be stuck in a locked room with a six foot four, three hundred pound, seriously pissed off dead guy. Fuck you! We can bring him back! Lee! Good morning later. But right now, we have to keep him from coming back. No! Amen. God damn it, Kenny! He is not dead! Yeah, no, no, no. Lily can still save him. God damn it, that was wrong. Me, I do. But that man is dead. You both know what happens next. Yeah. Look, Kenny, back at the drugstore when we all thought Duck was bitten. I gave him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe we should do the same now. That was different. Duck wasn't bitten. Come on, we know this guy's not gonna make it. Remember what Ben said. We gotta destroy the brain. Come on, Lee, I'm right about this. I know you've got my back. Yeah. You always do. He's right. God damn it, Lee. I need you. Please help me. Billy Kick Rocks. Come on, Dad. Come on. You're right, Kenny. Let's get this you over. You fucking with. monsters! Both of you! I don't want to see. I'm sorry, Lily. No, no, no. It's the only way. <laughs> get off me! Don't do this! No! No, no, no! Let go of me! Come on, lady. Come on. No, please. Oh, wow, a salt lick. No! No! <sighs> My God. God help us. I'm sorry. I 
Don't you fucking touch me! <laughs> Dr. Clem. Clem. Teaching less, teaching moment. Clem. You okay? Why, Lee? Lily said he wasn't dead. He, he was dead, Clementine. But what if he wasn't? He was, I, I promise. <laughs> I know, I know. But you gotta be strong right now. I need you to be strong. Think about something else, something hopeful. Like what? Getting out of here. We're gonna get out, right? You found a way out? I'm working on it. All right, well, he's gone. You, uh, you think maybe we were too hasty? Only one important thing right now. Getting the fuck out of here. We did what we had to. Kaja and Doc. What about him? You don't think they're St. John's? No! They, they need Katja, remember? She's the whole reason they brought us oh, here. Oh, wait, he sure. just faded. And Duck is valuable as a bargain. He just needed a nap. He was we gotta tired. We got to get to them. Okay. Uh... I know it was necessary. But I just wish Clem didn't have to witness shit like this. I worry what it's going to do to her. I feel that, man. I feel that. Oh. Get away. I just need to. I told you to get the fuck away. Okay. So you don't want to go out for dinner? Lily, I'm, I'm sorry. Don't talk to me, Lee. Don't fucking talk to me. Now that your dad's not in the way, can you... Larry would have wanted. Fuck you! You think he wanted this? Of course not. But... You don't know what he wanted. <laughs> you never knew him. You never gave him a chance. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe I should have tried hard. But I know he loved you. He'd want you to get out of here. Okay. There ought to be an air duct behind this unit. Maybe big enough for one of us to fit through. I don't know, Lee. Seems like a long shot. We got Clem. Does the air conditioner come off? I think I could take it off if I had something to remove the screws. What about my Leatherman? Multi tool. Of course they took it. Damn Shit. it. Maybe there's something else we could use. I've got a rock. Ah, a rock won't help. But a coin might do the trick. Do you have a coin? Uh uh. It's not coming off that way. It's not coming off that way. Okay. Let's back out of here. I guess we're looking. Larry, you got anything in your pockets, homie? If the duck behind the air conditioner is big enough, we might have found our way out. What about of here. a skull yeah. bone? Hey, that would work. To loosen the screws. Oh. I got nothing. Shit. Hang tight. Maybe I can scrounge something. Larry said he had 60 cents in his pocket that he would give that guy if he would shut up. Get away. Look, lady. Now is not the time. Why can't you just leave me alone? I'm sorry, Lily. But if we're gonna get out of here, we need your help. And Larry's. I think I may have found a way out of here, but I need something to remove the screws on the air conditioner. If you had something I could use as a screwdriver, a coin or something. No. What about him? Look, I know this is a terrible time for it, but uh, back at the motor inn, Larry, Larry mentioned something about keeping coins in his pockets. In other words, my father's more useful to you dead than alive. If he was alive yes. and had the key to getting us out of here, do you think he'd keep it to himself? What do you want? My blessing to loot his corpse? Your permission. <sighs> do what you have to do. Thank you. Oh, boy. Uh, any 
idea which pocket he keeps his change in? That's right. Fucking vulture. <laughs> uh, check his pockets for loose change. Here we go. Two there. quarters. Nice. And a dime. Perfect. 60 cents, just like he said. Just gotta remove these screws and get this unit off. Whoops. It's not coming off that way. Okay. You got it? Yeah. One more should do it. Okay. Well, there's our way out, Lee. Clementine can fit through. Looks like it'll probably lead right into that back room. You know you don't have to do this, right? I know. I just want to go home. This will help us get back home. <sighs> okay. You're gonna be fine. What do I do when I get out? See if you can get to the other side of that door and open it. It's the first time we get to control Clementine. Oh, maybe. Maybe not. Are you okay? Did anyone see you? No, but at least he's more useful. Levy, gotta go. Leave me alone. Lee, I can see him. It's not safe in here. For God's sake, Lee. Didn't even get to say goodbye. Oh, well. Get in here. Got an idea. Stay here. Take care of Lily, okay? I will. Slaughterhouse. God, what's wrong with these people? Maybe I shouldn't have sent Clementine through there. This room would give anybody nightmares. Ooh. Ready. people. Sick bastards. All of them. So what's the plan? That dumbass is so caught up in his own rant that we could probably sneak right up on him. Just stick behind me in case anything goes down. When we get to the front, grab his gun. Sounds good. Okay, you ready? Yeah, let's go. Stay close.
It ain't right making me stay out here all night. I didn't do nothing. They just treat me like I'm some kind of screw. -up. Dad, what are you doing outside the barn? Oh shit! Just guarding the place like you said. Man, quit sitting out in the rain like a damn deer. Mama says we can't keep that many folks alive and not expect trouble. Take one to keep and kill the rest. Not to keep which one to keep alive. Not to kill. Enough meat on the trail. What's he doing? Oh, I, know, I don't. Know. This is my favorite part of town. When I let one think they can just walk right out. I'll keep an eye on it. <laughs> right that, what I say. See what he's doing now. Take a look through the cracks. This is a bad idea, man. Oh, shit. That didn't help. can live. Cannibalism is not the answer. Aren't the walkers eating enough of us? You gotta keep me alive. If you kill me, the meat gets tainted. You can't eat it. You're already tainted. Do it then. I know you can. I've seen you do it. Just like you killed that wolf. No. This is not how the world works now. You won't make me kill you. Fuck you, Lee. You and Kenny murder my dad, but you leave this piece of shit alive? Your dad was an asshole. Fucking asshole. Oh, God! Don't hurt him! That's Katja! Please, no! Lily, please. Keep her safe. That's a nasty story. Ah, Carly. Carly! Lee? Ow! Shh! Is everyone okay? We heard screams as we were coming up to the house. They attacked us! I knew it. I told you we couldn't trust them. Shit! How many of them are there? Two left. Where? Larry's dead. They chopped off Mark's legs and tried to feed them to us. Shit! Is everyone else okay? They've still got Doc and Katja in the house. And I don't know where the fuck Kenny is. All right, we're coming in to help. The main gate is too dangerous. Go around the fence and see if there's a back way in. I'll keep looking for Kenny. Do you have a weapon? I don't leave home without it. Ben, stick close. And Lee, be careful. She needs to go now to sleep with one eye open? For real. Take the boy, check around. Oh, please don't take my boy. Let's go, woman. Santa 
It's me. Brenda. Stop right there! I mean it! Oh, I told you to stop! I told you! Damn, she shot Lee! Okay, easy baby. Easy, easy, easy. Nobody wants to get hurt. Think about what you do. It doesn't have to end like this. I'm killing me. Just let me go. Easy, easy. Stay back. Okay, Don't okay. Do stupid. Okay. Her go, Brenda. Please listen to her. Easy, Brenda. Just go back I'll up the stairs. It. There you go. Please. There you go. Come on. Okay. I don't want to kill you, Lee. I don't want you to kill me. Please don't make this any worse. No, uh-uh, you did this. All we wanted was a little gas to keep ourselves safe. And a couple steaks. Damn, Carly. Now you miss? Sharp. Time. Uh, 
What'd I tell you? Give me your biscuit recipe. No more, no more. Is that all you got, Lee? <laughs> you ain't shit. Yeah, Lily chose not to help. She gotta go. It's over! Fuck you! Do this day that mama get out here. You, you all fucked. <laughs> They're both dead. What did you do? What the fuck did you do? Don't you dare walk away from me, Lee. Here and finish this, Lee! Get nope. back here and fight me like a man, You're Lee. done. You're done. Lee! There's Mama. No, the brother's dead, Adam. I killed him. No, I did leave him alive, yeah. That's right. <clears throat> I don't know what happened to him. Hey, Lee. I'd say I'm sorry for leaving the motel unattended, but, you know. I'm glad you showed up when you did. If you hadn't taken that shot at Andy, we might not have gotten out of there. Were they really killing people? For food? Yeah. And Clementine almost ate some. But... I stopped her. I can't leave her alone, Carly. This fucking world now. It's hiding just unspeakable shit at every turn. Katya managed to grab this while she was in the house. She said it was with your stuff. Yeah. Oh. I found it while I was looking for the people who shot Mark. Do you want it? Why don't you keep it? Sometimes it helps to have something you can document your thoughts on. <sighs> How are you doing? I, I I'll be fine. I'm I stabbed him once, I used to be. Atari, but I didn't kill him. Hun, go on ahead and give me and Lee a second. There's gonna be fallout. For killing Lily's dad? Yeah, I would imagine so. What do you think? I'm with you, Kenny. We'll do what has to be done. You're damn right. Listen, that RV back at the motor inn is just about ready. I've changed my mind. I want you to come with us when we leave. Yeah? Hell yeah. We're a team, man, me and you. By taking out Larry before he turned, you saved all of us in that meat locker. And that saved my family, too. Yeah, I'd say you earned it. Okay. Come on, Clementine. Stay close. There's my girl. Lee, are those bad people dead? We didn't kill them, so I don't know. They might have been able to get away from the walkers. But I'm sure they won't be coming after us. That's good. Hey, Dad. What's that noise? What noise? Sounds like a car. Oh, God. Not more strangers.
Don't shoot. We're here to help. Oh, this is stupid. Hello? Figures. Oh, crap. Baby, you gotta see this. It's a shitload of food and supplies back here. Oh, that's beautiful. This food could save all of us. Not all of us. <sighs> Look, we don't know if these people are dead. If they come back, then we're just monsters who came out of the woods and ruined their lives. This stuff isn't ours. Dad, whose car is it? Don't worry about that, Duck. It's ours now. It's abandoned, Ducky. Don't worry. What if it's not? Well, what if it's not abandoned? What if it is someone's? Okay. We are going to pause it right here. You guys will get to choose. What do you think? Hold on. My webcam is still kind of in the way. Here we go. Do we take the food? Or do we not take the food? Say we should leave it, T-Rex? Lady Mutari says take it. Need a tiebreaker. Take it and leave an IOU. Karma. Yeah. It sounds like... Dang. Okay. Anybody else want to vote? Anybody else want to vote? There's only a few of us in chat, so... Anybody else want to vote? I guess we're taking it. I don't think we should, but we will. Is there any notes on the car? I don't think so. There was nothing. There's no way to tell if they're dead or if they were, because it's out of gas. So they could have stopped to go siphon some gas from any cars that they could find and then to come back. Oh, like property of, yeah, no, nothing. Not that that would mean anything in the apocalypse, you know what I mean? All right, guys, well, we're going to take it. We have to take this, Clementine. We need it to survive. Who says it's your decision to make? Hey, we don't have time for this shit. Like it or not, we need this food. Now get over here and open the trunk, Lee. Supplies? I'll take it. Great. Maybe we'll survive this after all. Duck, why don't you carry this? Okay. More food in here. <laughs> Got a box of food here. I'll carry it. This hoodie looks to be about your size. Why don't you hold on to this? It might get cold. It's not mine. Well, think of it like you're holding on to it. You can give it back if we ever meet up with them, okay? Okay.
she is not happy. That makes me hey, feel guilty. There were some batteries in one of those boxes. I thought they might work in your camcorder. Here, you can have some too. For your walkie talkie. Batteries, huh? Think you can handle those? You're not gonna let me live that down, are you? Ah. Oh god. Lee, you're gonna wanna see this. Oh shit. Oh. Oh wow, they've been watching us a while. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll safe. let you know. Sitting there acting like things are the way they used to be. Because the I dead do. don't kill their own. It's the living you got to be afraid of. The people I used to call friends. The people who took... Don't worry, little girl. And it's got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. I promise. See? We were right to kill her. Crazy lady. Making is done, pal. Ain't nothing left. We gotta get the hell out of here. Lee, I need you to back me up on this. Is this all you got? I told you this town is tapped. Do you have any idea what we had to do to get all that? We need to leave. Duck was asking about the farm last night. Not much face is on it, but it's starting to add up. I need to get to the coast. Get him out of all this madness. Lily's not doing so good, huh? But we killed her dad. We did kill her dad. He was Maybe dead. People out there got things lined he up. He died of a heart attack. Us, at least. Could be folks who have all this shit figured out. Do people get mad when they're scared? Sometimes, yeah, they do. This is crazy! I'm the one keeping this group going! We can sort this all out, all right? We can sort this out. I'll tell you what we need to sort out. We can't let one person fuck this up for everyone else! Whoa. All right. Chop David's leg, David's leg off. You and 44% of players chopped his leg off. Shot Jolene. O only 39% had Lee Shooter. Helped Larry. You and 49% of players helped Larry or helped kill Larry. Killed both of the St. John brothers. You and 61. I did not kill. I didn't kill either one of them. Didn't kill. Okay. Stole food from the car. You and 51% of the players stole food. That's pretty evenly down the middle. There it is. That is the end of C episode two. Uh, next Friday, 8 p.m., we'll be back with episode three. And Saturday with episode four. Thank you guys so much for watching. You have a good rest of your week. Till then, I'll see you next time.